All of my sounds got messed up for some reason. What's going on, Leo? What's up, Joseph? How we doing? My desktop sound wasn't going through OBS and uh, whatnot. Oh man, I gotta catch up. I was not able to get to a single repair today. Yeah, that's, a, that's right, Sean. Yesterday as well, or uh, last week as well, I wasn't able to get to any repairs during the day at all. I am so understaffed, and the staff that I have is not able to really get much of anything done. So um, I wasn't able to sit down for one second today to do any work. And it sucks because I got everyone and their mom calling me. Is my repair done? I'm like, no. No, it's not. <laughs> Not a chance. Okay, so this is the first one. This was dropped off on Friday. Ooh, somebody bought the Mantis microscope I sold. Okay, cool. Um, Gears 5. Is this Gears? What is this? It's just a black controller. Uh, oh, no, this is the Fortnite one. Uh, yeah, I don't really see what the issue is with this controller, but let's find out. <laughs> Too clean, you don't like it. Sorry, Sean. So this is the Fortnite controller that does not seem like the buttons are bad at all on here. Like they're pressing every single time. Supposedly it's a little bit less clicky. I'm not really feeling it a little bit, but it's not much I can do besides replace the silicone. That's really all I can do. And that might not even really fix it. Um, there is drift on these controllers, but he didn't say that they were drifty, so got 7% on the left stick and like 5% on the right stick, but if that's not registering, then I'll leave it alone. Okay, well, we'll move on to another one. I'll, I'll replace the silicone on that, but this is the... PUBG controller, it says both sticks need to be replaced and the D-pad up button does not appear to be working very well. Let's check that. Oh yeah, that stick is bad zos. And so is that stick. Oh god, that's terrible. Yeah, D-pad up feels odd. Okay, well, let's replace both sticks on this guy. Hey, John, you too, brother. Good to see you. Hey, what's up, Felix? Syscon trace repair. What is underneath here? What is that? What happened with your Syscon? You took it off? Or is it just near the Syscon? Yes, please.
What's up, Jamie? Good evening to all, and to all a good night. <laughs> oh my god, today was horrible. Yeah, it's alright. I just, I'm gonna have to get more help, because it's just, it's too, it's too much, man, yeah. I can't handle it. Why is there an X on the back of that? Is that part of the controller? I guess it is. Hey, Nova. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not ready for it right now. I can't really take on any extra work at the moment. It's just crazy. It's going to have to be longer wait times. Like, for instance, like I said today, I was not able to get a single repair done. Not even a simple controller repair. I wasn't even able to start it. So, after hours, when I'm not messed up, messed up getting calls every five seconds and having to run the whole front of the shop basically pretty much pretty much even though technically I have an employee I still have to be up there 24-7 so. So the nice thing about Xbox controllers is you can actually wick them. You don't have to use heat most of the time, at least I'm able to wick them, which is awesome because it's, it's easier in my opinion. Well, I don't know about easier, but it's cleaner. <laughs> Frankie stay in purgatory. Hey, um, for us. I do, yes. I do mind.
Hey, what's up, Mike? Haven't seen you in here a long time. What's up, Frost? What'd you say? You might need to show them my app, though. I don't know. You could try. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. Let me see. I mean, I only gave you 10, 10 is fine. Oh, what's up, Captain? Sure, I did. Ha, <laughs> nice. Thank you for us. What's up, Alex? How's everyone doing? I am trying to catch up. Let's see if I can do some catch up tonight. Get some stuff done.
I see that's so nice that you can just take the joystick out. Like, PS4 controllers are really hard to wick out. Like, doesn't work for me. But Xbox controllers, for some odd reason, I can wick them. Got a cell bracer. Oh. Oh, whacked. Huh. I don't know. That's really, really weird. Whacked? It doesn't make sense. Aw. Well, I see you on Twitch. Be somebody reported something you said or something. I don't know. Not that you would have done anything wrong, but maybe. Just it's an automatic thing, maybe. Can you log in with a different account? Whacked is on Twitch. He says for some reason none of his comments are coming through on YouTube. Same thing with Coder's YouTube channel. He wasn't able to say anything. <clears throat> Not sure why. He said he didn't do anything wrong. I think all next-gen co um, controllers are garbage, to be honest. Make the cheapest things possible to make the most amount of money, but it just kind of does the gamer a disservice because the controllers start drifting within like a year of playing competitive playing. You'd figure the big wigs, you know, Microsoft, Sony, Sega, well, Sega's not in business anymore, but 
Um, you would figure that, well, they're in business, just not for consoles, but you'd figure that, you know, they've been making controllers for freaking ever. You'd figure that they'd have it down pat by now, but guess not. Why does that one feel weird? That looks fine. Okay. I got the Vectrix uh, caps in too, so I wanted at some point to get to that. Hopefully we can fix it. Caps and um, amp. Oh, Whacked Man, you're here now. Nice. That's your secondary account? <laughs> the man makes another account just to chat. Okay, so that's one section of this, and then also, this is the PUBG controller, so it needs a new D-pad sticker. Which unfortunately is underneath here. <laughs> the other half. That's funny. Right? Yeah, well, I mean, the one thing I'll say about that is that the joysticks on the new are, they, they, um, you know, they're, they're more sensitive. So, That you don't get as much with the GameCube. Like you don't have to have such precise movements as you do on like online games and stuff like that. So it's a totally different analog stick module than.
Yeah. That one feels flatter than the originals. What? Oh, these ones don't feel good at all. I don't like those. Oh, well, it's the only ones I got, so. These do not feel clicky at all. Let's see what it feels like when I put it in there. Let's see. suck. Damn it. Fuck, I hate when you buy parts and they're poo-poo and you don't realize it until you put them in. I've used those D-pad stickers before, so I don't know why they feel so flat. But that's terrible. Yeah, buddy, food time. I'll take a small drink. I don't drink very much. So here's your straw, and then I'm not Oh. Okay, so what did they get me? What did they give me instead? Well, that's not worth it.
the circuit where I had a lot since too. Smells like onion rings to me. Well, that's because I ordered myself onion rings. Oh. So I get, mo I asked for mozzarella sticks. I already got fries and you get me an extra order. I would have taken the onion rings over the damn fries. I already ordered fries. I mean, not if you order them for yourself, Frost. You know? But if I had already gotten fries and they didn't have the mozzarella sticks, I probably would have taken something other than fries since I already got fries. <laughs> I don't want to take your onion rings, man. Uh, I mean, if they're baked in animal fat, then it's so are the fries. I mean, I do, but I just don't want to steal your onion rings, Frost. <laughs> I wanted the mozzarella sticks. They should have canceled the order and give me my money back if they didn't have the mozzarella sticks, but it's all good. I'm easy to please. That's the problem with, like, the mobile order stuff. It's like, I don't know. Maybe they didn't charge me for them. I don't know. Probably did, though. All right, after this controller... I eat eggs and cheese, just no flesh, no flesh, unfertilized eggs, fertilized eggs actually cost more, I think that's kind of gross, but not that much different. Obo lacto. Hey, Nikitas. Yeah, it feels better. Okay. So let's check the joystick drifts now and see if that works. Do I need to adjust them? Most likely I'll need to adjust them. We always need to adjust them. What's cracking, homie? Eggs. After you said what's cracking, egg came up. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Eggs is cracking. What's up, Egg? Why is your screen name Egg, by the way? Is it your initials by any chance? Probably is, huh? Did you take the fries then, Ross? Okay. Let's check out what's going on with the drift on this guy. Your friends call you Egg. Huh. Edward George Granger. That's your name. That's why they call you Egg. <laughs> no.
the hell's button five? Why is the R button pressed in? Ah! Oh, it's this stupid thing. Oops. There we go. All right, wow, the right stick is fantastic. The left stick, not so good. Got an 11% drift to the right and 7% upward drift. So I need to go, or downward drift. So I need to go up and then probably put two 43s on the left drift. All right. Um, so left stick is here. I want to go. Let me double check that I, I'm going to bridge the right ones with this resistor. I want to go to the left. I want to go to the right. Yeah, and then up. Come, come, come. Hey, Jason. Guess? What do you mean you guess? You either are or you aren't. that let's do a we have a cough ha <laughs> don't forget your masky mask could be worse i guess there's worse things than a cough Let's just try 143 there. And that looks like doo doo poo poo, so let's. Alright, let's see what it looks like now. Oi. Yeah, that's, that'll do. This one has a little bit of downward drift, but it's like a dead spot. Yeah. I think when it's screwed back together, it'll probably be okay. All right, so I think that's gonna be good. What's up, Ruben? Ah, oh, Nate, what's cracking? 19. 
Don't catch the booter vid. Might not survive. It's a deadly virus going around. This controller was completely unusable, so now it's usable again. Gray on top. Booter pox, huh? There's no vaccine for that, so as JP Sears likes to say, vaccine, or, or as Fleckus likes to say, Maxine. <laughs> I love it. Sad state of of uh, free speech when you gotta say other words in order to say the word that you want to say. That's pathetic. Misinformation. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, Georgie, what's cracking, brother? <laughs> Alex. Mariboldi Bola. Got some free stuff out of it. Wow. I don't know if I would have taken anything from that bin, Felix. <laughs> I think I'll leave that stuff right up in that bin. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they stored their Ebola test samples there. You better watch out. All right. Oh, you did? Oh, that's sick. Did they did they come out good? That's really awesome. Uh, did, how long did that take you? Probably took a while, huh? Oh yeah, these are nice now. Perfect. Alright. PUBG one's done. And print 911. Someone call the doctor. What's the number for 911? 
Welcome to the Booter family, and now you're officially screwed. No escape. Thanks for the sub. Okay. That one's done. Time to eat some food. BSL 4 lab with legit engineering controls. Now for a fact they had a live virus for the work they did. So I was like, uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of crazy there, uh, Felix. All right, time for some booter snacks. Amazing it did four that took about a day of controller. Not bad. Oh, about an hour. Nice. You did them for yourself or for other people? Yeah, I heard so, Georgie. So if you were doing it for people, how much would you charge to make one? Barrage, you didn't take your fries. I mean, you gave me your onion rings, so now I have two fries and onion rings. There's no freaking way. There's no way I'm going to be able to eat all that, man. Oh, oh nice, Shorty. It doesn't matter. Yeah. What's up, Yaki? Get hungry watching me. I know Jason's always hungry. No. Nope. It's pointing this way. Correct. It's a tiny ass screen. I'm so busy. I don't even have time to eat. I'm just... I haven't had time to eat all day long and I don't have time after hours here. I... It's the only thing I hate about eating is it takes time. <laughs> I just like don't want to spend the time eating. I don't have to, Sean, but... For sure, right, Ruben? I'd share if I could. It's an impossible whopper, though, if you're down for that type of thing. It might not be. You can have an onion ring, though. Eat up. Yeah. Much healthier, Jason. I don't actually usually, I don't actually need to eat, but 
be honest, I usually feel better when I don't eat. Hell, <laughs> Leo. Just get a, a blender. Just make an impossible blender. <clears throat> 15 years ago, Ruben. Well, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> People never want to pay what it's uh, worth, I write. Yep. Yo, guys, just one in the chat if you know you would pay for something good for what it's worth. Everyone wants to pay. Get good deals. <laughs> Alex. Man, I already don't get nothing done. That would make it worse. So what you doing? I mean, if you want to do some work or something, but the only reason why I'm eating is because I need to put something in my belly, but then it's back to work. No, sir, Ruben. Roz, you crack open your soldering iron yet? Never. Okay. Oh, I'm so backed up, Georgie. So right over here on my repair bench. Oh, I'm talking to the stream. I have... Okay. I got a switch light coming up next. Two PS5 controllers, PS4 Pro, a laptop, another Switch, and an R2D2 360, a 3DS XL, another Switch, three Game Boys, a desktop computer, another Switch, and a 2DS. No. Yep. Well, yeah, well, we'll figure it out. I mean, that's kind of an important detail to not leave out when you drop your system off. He did not say anything like that. That's like the most important detail. That's silly. Well, I guess we'll figure it out. Oh, my gut's good, Leo. I don't get constipated. I just sit. Well, um, I wouldn't say I eat right, but definitely wouldn't. I have enough coffee, though, to... Yeah, I haven't... I, I drink enough coffee to... to uh, it's like a laxative for an elephant. Yeah, sure, Alex. I sure do. <clears throat> There's days where I don't eat anything. Um, hey, I appreciate that, Georgie. Yeah, I, all I honestly need, because like 
the, even though the work I have a lot to do right now, it's literally only because I wasn't able to do any of it during the day. Like I had employees that were running the front of the shop that were able to do everything and kind of filter out any extra stuff and that's not happening right now. So I'm having to deal with more than I normally would, but that's about to change. So I got a new employee starting on Monday who's He's like a manager of an Adalberto's right now. Well, ships, you know, he, he works, so I think it should be better. Okay, new gloves. We're going on to the next controller. So, he says the gears controller has no power, and I told him that I might not be able to fix that. Um, how's that no power? Okay. Looks fine to me. Okay, B11 is what? That's the right click. Okay, so the right click is held down. Excuse me, but the left? Yeah, right? So just right stick replacement. Because the right click is permanently held down. Oh no, I don't have, I don't, I'm not hiring any techs right now, Georgie. He would just be, uh, Mav, Mavs is going to be starting on Monday. He's going to be doing front of house stuff with, uh, bras and. So gears five, no power and R3 stuck. No power is definitely not a thing. This is definitely fine. It does have a little bit of drift on the left stick. But the stick itself seems okay. So. The right stick's boo boo. So. See, the problem with the Xbox controllers is they have this dead zone. So I can. Hey, Mark Tech, what are you doing over there on Twitch? Um. I can st stick it in the center there and it'll stay there. But then I can also, I can also like pull it off like that. And it stays at that 10% drift. So that's more of like a bad stick. So honestly, this one probably should have both sticks replaced. But the thing is, is even the new sticks sometimes have a little bit of play. Um, the usual only, only happens going down though. See, I try to go up here and it doesn't stay up. But if I go down, it stays down like that. Only to the right though. Right there. I can let it sit there. Uh, yeah, Georgie, the main issue with hiring a tech is they'd want to get paid a ridiculous amount and I don't have the amount of work to do that I don't know if I don't know definitely keep it in mind though yeah even the new sticks will do that Alex it's annoying
Holy smokes, Leo, that's a ton. OG Xbox, I don't have any extras for sale. Yeah, I guess online. Yeah, I don't have any extra OG Xbox ones for sale, unfortunately. So I think that he's going to need both sticks replaced on this one. Um, although, see, that's the conundrum I find with controllers. Like, I'm seeing that the left stick has a bad like dead zone in the center. That's not necessarily drift unless you put it to that bad part of the dead zone. And the customer only reports that R3 is stuck. He didn't say anything about the left stick dead zone or drift. So it's like, do I replace it and charge him for it? Or do I leave it for him to come back like a month later and be like, well, actually the left stick has drift too. So I guess I could call him or just do it. I mean, I think it needs to be done. But then again, replacing it could still have a dead zone after I replace it. So it's like, eh, because the new sticks have a dead zone too. Let's do... <clears throat> Probably needs a new wire, Ruben, the Xbox controllers. 200 an hour, damn, I don't even get paid that. Replacing the board won't help because it's the analog sticks. Actually, you know what? Probably easier just to leave this in the shell, honestly. Forgot about that. Oops, sorry, music. How are you going to skip to Micromage's favorite song? Yeah, the other thing is, is I'm uh, really probably starting to definitely not hire friends or people that I know because it's kind of a pain in the ass, Georgie, you know, it's hard to explain, but once you experience it, you're like, yeah, that wasn't, that's not working out. I'd rather hire somebody that I'm not familiar with right now than get familiar with my employees in that sense.
the right stick. So do I replace both sticks or I just leave it? Where's the link at? You guys see the thousand pounds of 360 consoles from Goodwill? Oh my god, a thousand pound lot? Ugh. No, you don't, Sean. Dude, what whacked? Your second account got shadow banned? Huh. So you so Google doesn't like them or YouTube, they don't like you speaking out against them, huh? That's so weird. Huh. That's weird, man. You didn't even definitely didn't do anything on this new account, so that's odd. I guess if you got something to say and they don't want you to say it, then they're just, you know, they're going to go ahead and uh, cut you off, man, from the world. That's the thing with the internet, man. Get these cut off, bro. Yeah, do I leave it? Do I not leave it? He didn't say anything about an issue, so I guess we'll leave it. Does that mean it's technically not drifting? So. Yeah, pretty much, Yaki, yeah. Even the new replacement sticks usually do. Yeah, probably whacked IP links, most likely. Huh, I wonder how long that's going to last for. Sorry, music. Let me tab off that page here. Let me skip to a new song. Tab off the page so I don't do that anymore.
time. Check this one now. Wait. Oh no. I think this might be a problem with the board because that R3 is still plugged in. Let me see. Let me plug that in. I think that this might actually be something wrong with the board. Oh no. Huh, hold on. What the heck? Yep. So, button 11 is still pressed down so and it keeps power cycling when I have it plugged in let me see if it's just a cord yeah so button 11 this one's uh, yeah pretty sure this is gonna be done so I have no idea what would cause uh, let's see I have no idea what would cause that and I do not repair those types of problems on controllers. I just do like stick and button. I'm not going to sit here and diagnose what issue it might have. So unfortunately that is not. So the click for the buttons is this. Um, and it doesn't look like anything is on there. That's bad. Yeah, I got too much stuff to do right now to be messing with a controller that actually has more issues other than it sticks needing to be replaced. I really, really don't have time for that. Yeah, I mean, it definitely has the sticks. The button here is shorted. This The, the button here for R3 is shorted. Um, but what's causing that, that's anybody's guess. I've never... It, it, it definitely is. I replaced the stick. So it's definitely going to be on the board. Let's see on the other side of the board if there's anything that I can see. The 21 above there might be. Let's check out. No, it's not the stick. It's definitely on the board. Let's see this guy here. That's not shorted. Well, it's not a component on this side. I guess it could be this this module here, which means it's toast, because I, I don't replace this module. 
because it does go to that module. Yeah, I think it's going to be this module here is shorted. see the rust so it might have a little bit of water damage on the Bluetooth module underneath because of this rust but yeah like I said it's not really worth my time these are not supposed to be shorted these here yeah they're not supposed to be until you click the button yeah you click the button then they short but these ones here, let me see. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. That's really, really interesting. Uh, let me see. I think that when I removed it from this bottom board. So then it's probably the main board that has the issue. Let me try again, but I think I took it out of that. Now they're not bridged anymore, but once it's back in the case here, clipped into the other motherboard, Huh. Yeah, so they're not shorted anymore, but I have a feeling that that's probably because it gets shorted when you plug it in. Uh. Yeah, it's like as soon as you start to move the stick or something. Yeah, no, that doesn't do anything. It's like when you first power it on, it's not. No. Yeah, when you first power it on, that that button isn't shorted. But then as soon as you touch the stick. Yeah, that's weird. So, yeah, so see, you can see button 11 is not shorted out right now. If I don't touch it, as soon as I touch the stick, boom, now it's shorted. So, I don't know what that would be. So, yeah. Yep, that I am done with. So this is a no fix. I am not figuring that out, unfortunately. If you want this shell, you're gonna have to find another motherboard to put into it, because I don't have the time for that, unfortunately. Somebody else might, but I don't. So she can go bye-bye and I lose a stick because I put a brand new stick on this controller and that did not do it never seen that before never seen that type of board problem no Nikitas it's not the stick is fine. It's on the board. Like, what are the chances of the, the stick that's on there it behaving exactly the same as a brand new stick that I put on there? Like, there's like 0% chance. Well, okay. Not zero, but I highly doubt it. I guarantee you if I take the stick off and put another stick on, it's going to do the same thing. Guarantee it.
plus it's uh um black button underneath I I don't know what you're talking about Nikita I literally replaced the entire module the button is on the module so um not only that but off the board I can test these points and they're not bridged no matter how many time I press the button so it's some sort of electrical short that's happening yeah there's some sort of electrical short happening when you plug the controller in and then you try to move the joystick something I think is shorted out like that was your initial thing is something shorted out and causing that to short out on the board don't know what though got time for that unfortunately <laughs> I see. <laughs> like the streamer die, bitches. Ridiculous, dude. Hey, Mark, what's going on? No, no, there's no mod. No mod, Felix, yeah. Oh, I was saying that it's a special edition controller, maybe. That's, But I don't know where you would have gotten mod from. Yeah, I don't know. Uh-oh. What's up, Coder? How you doing, brother? See, Coder's a smart man. He doesn't do controller repair. Smart man up there. I like to uh, make myself suffer, so I offer controller repair, and it's like sometimes a massive waste of time. Sometimes it's not, but a lot. Sometimes it is. It drives me nuts when that happens. Okay, so no fix on the gears one. Fortnite. Um, so, and then this is another one, like. He says that the buttons don't feel all that clickly, clicky. Oh yeah, for sure, Coder, yeah. Hey, what's up, Ruggers? So he says the buttons don't feel all that clicky on this side. And I'll admit the A button does feel a little bit mushy, but I know what broken silicone feels like and that silicone is not broken. So I can replace it, but I've, I did this for another controller and for some odd reason, it still did not fix the problem it still was like off, off you know weird looking hi evelyn how are you welcome to the stream i don't think i've ever seen you in here before and if, if i did maybe i didn't notice let's see xbox one button rubber so is this the right one let's find out here's a button rubber i don't know if it's the right one Oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing, Coder. Because at least I can say I tried. Oh. hate these controllers sometimes. Mm -mm. 
Hello, Josh. Oh, nice, Jalen. Now, how you fix stick drift? Buy a new controller. <laughs> Off with the jacket, all right. <laughs> Two dollars. Free David. <laughs> Show the booter goods. Jesus. Yeah, um, oh, that's funny. Yeah, you can replace the analog stick module, but it requires you to also use resistors to center it, and then sometimes it's just not perfect. <laughs> Yaki, Jesus, not you too. Oh, snap, Josh. Why is it like all like, like, oh, it's Christmas oriented. Thank you, Josh. I appreciate you. Thank you, Icy. Oh, yeah. Wait, I forgot. Uh, is it this one? I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you donated, but you forgot the message. You're such a dork, dude. Thanks for the... You got to donate again if you want the special message on there, brother. You got to give back more. No? No, I didn't have my heat gun on. I just now turned it on. 97 people. Holy smokes. You did it again. <laughs> you did it again. I'm rich, bitch. You forgot. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Um, what am I doing on this controller? Oh yeah, the this, this stupid rubbers. All right. Is it bullshit? Bullshit? Reballing is bullshit. <laughs> I love that clip so much. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, those ones are okay, yeah, if you like spending a lot of money. For, like, a, a repair, it's not very, like, economically repair. Woohoo! I'm rich, bitch! Oh, a dollar doesn't let you talk. Wow, they limit that? That's stupid. Ankle reveal. Damn, y'all are getting kinky. What are you, a foot, a footy? Are you one of those foot people, Leo? Probably over a dollar. Damn. What kind of stream you guys think this is? What the hell? Leo's like, yes. Yes, I am, damn it. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> Leo's gonna try for the, like, <laughs> the, like, or uh, Icy's gonna try for, like, the one thing at a time. Are you drinking, Icy? What are you doing over there? Goofball. <laughs> Jordzy, I know this is like turned into like my only fans like what the hell guys <laughs> you guys are ridiculous dude I'm just trying to repair this controller not naked preferably Come on out of there. 
Where's the other screw? Is there another screw in here? Damn, guys. Thank you, Coder. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Give me all your money, Coder. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> he just named it Naked Booter. <laughs> George. Hell no. Jason's the only one that gets to see me in my thong, baby. Wait. Oops, I left it plugged in. All right, well, I guess that's fine. Get this on out of here. So this is the one that he says is bad, but it's really not. I'm telling you, they feel fine. So here's a brand new one. I'll put it in, but these legitimate. Dang, dude. Dang, you guys, stop balling, balling out over there. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> Jigsaw. No, they're trying to turn this this channel into an OnlyFans right now. They're like, take off your clothes. Bitch. Oh, snap. Yeah, Coder's got an OnlyFans, didn't you know? Coder, get your link for that for, for your OnlyFans. You know you you can't hide any longer, bro. I gotta protect my customer's controller, man. You don't know where my hands have been. Oh wait, does this one fit? Okay, I have the button in wrong. God dang it. Friggin' stupid controllers. You guys must be seriously bored, huh? What's the fascination with... Why do you want to see booter breasts? Breast disease. Nothing good to be found there. Alright, now you're in there, you turd. Take off them dreads. Oh, let me take up my hat off. It'll come off with the dreads. The dreads will come off with the hat. I need. I. It's been like four or five months that I since I had my hair crocheted again, and oh my god, do I need it? There's all kinds of brand new hair coming in, and it just looks like a disaster up in there. I guess so, Nikitas. See, is that in place? Yeah, it's in. See, that one feels worse. Like, way worse. Alright, hold up. That is not working out. Let me see. I bet you anything it's just... I bet you these silicones are just not very good. Even though it's quote-unquote new, it's probably just not very good quality. Yeah, these are... Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that the original ones are better quality than these replacements. As <laughs> the carpet matched the boobs. Take it easy, Phil. Sleep well. <laughs> Dress elsewhere. Be funny. So yeah, I think it just has to do with these silicone buttons are just not very... The ones that I got as replacements are not very clicky. They're, they work, but they're just not very... Clicky. Goodness golly, yeah, these are terrible silicone pads. Am I missing something here? Is this not, like, maybe it's not fitting in properly or something? Let me see. No, that just feels awful. Yeah, that feels terrible. All right, um, these are just really bad quality silicone. Pretty much useless, honestly. Honestly. It's the silicone pads. This thing's terrible. Yeah, for sure, whacked. That sucks. Get like a spoofer. Okay, yeah, that's not the right one. All right, well, here's an OEM. Oop. Here's an OEM one. Maybe this one will work better for him. Why don't you make it worth it for someone to fix their controller rather than just getting a new one? Well, I just do like joystick replacement, silicone replacement, and that's it. Like, I don't troubleshoot like crazy problems with controllers because it's not worth my time. But yeah, 360 controllers, they don't make them anymore. I do have a brand new one though. I have a sealed 360 controller. I don't know how much it is. I have one. I think it's a. Uh, comes with the wireless dongle too for PC. Pretty nice. Yeah. Stick drift. Most common problem. Oh yeah, you just need a new battery con compartment. That's all you need. They're like couple bucks
I mean, I don't really do too many controller fixes because they're just it's just not worth it's really not worth it. Like on your own, sure, if you want to spend like a couple hours on a controller repair to make like what 30 40 bucks, go for it. But in a business standpoint, I mean, in, I guess unless you know what the problem is and you could just get in there and bang it out, but I just do, you know, simple fixes for controllers for the most part. Stick drift, which is not all that simple to do, but it's uh, definitely not as hard as, like, finding a fault on a board and replacing a chip. Yeah, I mean, it actually does feel... So I guess maybe that silicone that he had was worn out. It does feel a lot better, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it did. Yeah, Nova was talking about that earlier, Nick. Oh, yeah, the Elite controller. Yeah, I do I do sticks on that. I charge a lot more, though, for the Elite controllers because those are controllers are kind of worth doing, like the stick and bumper replacement. That's actually a common problem with those Xbox uh, Elite controllers, stupidly enough, is the buttons. People press them, you know, too, too many times. Well, you know, there's only a certain amount of times you can press a button before it starts to go bad. What about the new PS5 like Pro Controller? You can buy new analog modules for like 20 bucks. Something like that. It's a great idea. Cut out the middleman. Uh, that's why Sega's no more, you say? Yeah, that feels a lot better. Yeah, the new rubbers for the NES ones are, work well, but... These ones are a little bit different and like I it's hard to show on the stream but how these look compared to the aftermarket ones that I got the aftermarket ones are a, a little bit shorter they're just a different design like the way the button hits is not as good they should have made actually these buttons over here for the start and select are look like the right size but the buttons over here for the A, B, X, Y are like flatter. I don't know why, but they're not the right ones. They don't look good. The OEM silicone is is better. Anyways. All right, so that's done. Um, okay, so here's five. No fix. Okay, so I'll call them up tomorrow. I got two of them up and running. The Gears one needs another motherboard. As far as I can tell, I don't know what that problem is. Okay, this is a switch light screen diagnostic, so it has no video on the screen. Yeah, I mean, the, the NES board, the controller board is literally just the controller chip. So I have a stack of them from console five. It's literally just a chip. One chip is the whole controller. Right here, what is this? Yep, eight, uh, CD4021. 
That's the whole controller. And then of course the traces that go off to the, you know, to go to the carbon. Okay, so what goes on when we plug this switch in? Fifteen volts, zero amps. Only charges one way. All right, now it's charging. Oh, it's not black screen. The screen's broken. Yeah, that screen's cracked. It's not, it's not black. It actually has a display on it. I don't know if you can see this up top here. And then this line on the bottom, the green line on the screen. Yeah, this, this display is broken. So, yeah, it's cracked. All right, so I'm going to have to call him. Because I don't want to replace the screen if he doesn't want to do it. Well, he paid. He also paid for the diagnostic, so I would assume he wants to get it fixed. I'm assuming this massive gouge on the screen is probably what caused it. So, switch light screen replacement, I guess. I was going to say it's missing screws, but nope, my eyes are just not working. Yeah, it's, the problem is it's 9 o'clock at night, so I don't want to call somebody at 9 o'clock at night. I guess I could call him tomorrow, but I was just trying to get through. Yeah, I should call. Call. Yeah, NES is awesome. The music is great. Game Boy is also good. The Game Boy has such better music and sound than the Game Gear. Oh, God, I hate the Game Gear sound. It's just god-awful. But Game Boy, it's the bomb. Oh, more controllers. I... This is why I have to do this stuff after hours, because controller repairs. Hey, sleep well, Joshua. Thanks for popping in, brother. All right, I'm chilly. If you want to see my sexy arms again, you got to donate $2, I see. Freezing. God bless, Josh. Uh, okay. This, he says left stick replacement. Dari Fighter? I don't know if I've ever played that, Mark. Oh, Street Fighter for N oh for SNES. Oh, okay. Oh God, yeah, that stick is bad. I'm not even touching it. Huh. <laughs> That's bad. Okay. Everything else seems to work just fine. So left stick. <laughs> Easy peasy. Let's get her done.
Oh yeah, the first gen sticks were defective, I think. Really, Nikitas, they were $20? Really? For SNES games? But I thought they were like 40 I honestly prefer uh, Street Fighter on the Genesis with the six button controller. Where's Mark Tech? I haven't seen him tonight. Sleeping? I know it's like a day and a half into the future for him, so. So I'm curious. This is a left stick. I'm curious if. Uh, the. Uh, if I can wick PS5 controllers, but pretty darn sure I can't. Pretty darn sure I can't. Mortal Kombat. Damn, really? Kitas? Wow. I don't think these wick. I think I have to use my heat gun to take it out. But we'll give it a shot. I don't think I've done it on tried it on PS5 controllers yet. snap oh nice oh that's so awesome i did not know that ps5 controllers can be wicked wow that's nice oh that's a godsend maybe they i guess they didn't use leaded solder because they're not allowed to but that is nice okay well i was using heat for these i guess i don't need to do that anymore Now the real question is, is does it get all the solder out of the holes on both sides of the board? Looks like it is. The other mark, mark two. But yeah, I'm glad you're here too, Mark. Good to see you, bro. Appreciate the support.
Yeah, see, that's going to be the issue. Getting the vias to come completely out. And this is ticking me off since I got to take the controller out anyways. Let me do that. Yeah, we have those two, the two Zeldas in stock right now as well. Looks like I might have to use heat anyways after this because they're not coming completely clean. Traction on, choking on fumes here. Yeah, see, that's honestly more of a pain in the butt to try to get these out than it is with the heat. You just whack it and then clean them out and it's a lot easier than fighting with trying to clear these these holes.
That's not doing too hot. All right. <clears throat> yeah, see, I would have already been done if I used my hot air. And there's still solder in the holes. So, I don't think this thing is ready to come out. Oh, interesting. This is a different style board than the first ones I worked on. The first ones have little rubber, circular rubber inserts in the corners. This one doesn't have that. Oop. That's what fell. Oh no, did I suck it up? I think I did. Either that or it fell off somewhere else. Uh, I'm going to have to open up my fume extractor, the little speaker that's on the other side of this controller. Uh, I think it got sucked up into my... I think it did. Hooey. Alright. Darn it. Oh, here it is. Goodness, thank you. And the holes are already clean. And I need to order more joysticks. But I also have a Hyperkin order to make. Which is all my other side parts. I have ooh, very, very little joysticks left. It's unfortunate. Just have to tell people they're going to have to wait. There goes some. clear
I have a brand new purple DualShock 5 that I'm I gotta put uh, that Rise 4 kit. I want to do it on a live stream where I don't have anything else going on, so I could post it with the link. But this is sealed. And I want to put the Rise 4 remap kit on it, and then sell the controller with the remap kit. Brand new one, never used. Yeah, purple ones are pretty cool. Oops. Let's get this cable out from underneath here. Why did I do that? I need access to that side with the joystick. This out with the PS5 controllers, you need to have the battery plugged in, which is kind of silly, in order for it to even come on. That's nice. Hit center. Oh, not so much. Okay. A little bit of left hand drift. So I need to, or right hand drift, I guess you should say. Got 5% right hand drift. 6% almost. Um, so if this is upside down, right is left and left is right, but it's actually upside down from that because it actually goes the other way around. I want to make it go left, so uh, if it's this way and that's left, then I want to do the left one. Pretty sure it's this here. You're back. What happened, Whack? What was the deal? See if I got it on the right side. Huh. Really weird. That's really odd. Whacked. 
All right. Let's try it. Goink. Oh yeah, that's nice. Uh, yeah, less than 3% drift both ways and that, that'll work. All right, we're done with that one. Oops. Oh, I guess I can reach him. Red on bottom, black on top. Yeah. All right there, music. it for this one back together everything's plugged in trackpad motors all that jazz all right Doing there. Jesus, look what you done did, bro. Now you're screwed. Part of the booter fam now, bro. Sorry to say. There's no escape. Crazy people here. Welcome. Serial number is F twenty two one hundred fifty. 
Victor Yoga Paramahansa 265 10475. Next. Hmm. What is this one? This one has supposedly left stick stiff. Blah, blah, blah. Left stick drift as well. I do not see any left stick drift on this one. <laughs> yeah, it looks good to me too. Yeah, I can't find a problem with that one. So, I don't know what he's experiencing, but it's not stick drift, that's for sure. Uh, hey, Batman, what's cracking? Oh, really? Whose terms of service is that against? Dual streaming. Because if that's the case, I probably would just stay on YouTube. Multi streams to Twitch, TikTok, or Instagram are allowed, but not to YouTube or Facebook. I think, I think that's if you're streaming multiple. See, if you want to increase your audience, try multi streaming to Twitch or your other favorite platforms. Multi streaming allows you to stream on Twitch and YouTube, or stream on Twitch and Facebook, or all three. Twitch changed their exclusivity. I don't know. I've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. August of 2022. Twitch removed its exclusivity rights for partner in Twitch present. Twitch put double down on the decision to prevent multi-streaming. Twitch removed its exclusivity rights. Huh. Yeah, so it looks like uh, it looks like I can stream from YouTube to, or no, I'm sorry. YouTube to Twitch, but not from Twitch to YouTube. So if I lose my Twitch, then that's fine because I do YouTube. I'd rather not lose my YouTube, but, but yeah, so I don't see a problem with this controller. So I'm going to not do that. So this one's F21B0. Thank God I can move on. I don't like controller repair anyways. YP2564969. No issue found. Okay, so we got a PS4 Pro that a customer bought secondhand. 
and whoop. He said it was overheating and then he took it apart himself and he kind of realized there were a bunch of missing screws and also had it had roaches in it at one point. So it was pretty dirty on the inside. So, oof. So, uh, but then he left and called and said it was boot looping. So that's a totally separate issue than refurbishing it. So we'll put it back together with all the screws, new thermal compound. Goodness, man. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, they are. Oh, I hope there's no live ones in here. Missing one thermal pad here. See how nasty it looks under here. I hope. Where's my spray bottle? Hold on, let me get my spray bottle. Because that is my sa savior. <laughs> and I get roach consoles. There we go. Got my roach killer. Just in case. Uh. Oh, yeah, it looks like the house had been treated because they're pretty much dead. Oh, <laughs> I lost, lost like 10 viewers just because of the roaches. <laughs> it's funny. Like everyone's like... <laughs> Oh my god. That's fucking gnarly. Ugh. Oh man. Tight. So gross. This thing was filled with roaches. It wasn't even... A little bit. This thing was f -f 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 fulfilled. All right.
how do consoles work this long with that many roaches in it? It's fucking incredible. No, they're all dead. Oh shit, there is a live one! Alright. Did one run across the desk for real? Bipedal. There was a live one in the... Did one for real? Did you see one, Bipedal? There was a live one in there. It's right there. Here it comes. See him? Oh. So don't tell me you actually saw. Man. Shut up, Jason. All right, well, just to be safe, I don't think I saw any, but I charge a fee for live ones. There's another one. Damn it. So, and this has been sitting on my shelf uh, I think all day yesterday. That ticks me off. I should have, I should have bagged it. But he said he had taken care of the bugs. So, man, god damn it! Yeah, Yaki, I know. God dang it. Thanks, Batman. Damn, yo, you're... How are you still alive, dog? You're a trooper, man. Yo, that's like the most resilient one I've ever seen. Damn, bro. You're trying, man. You are trying, I'll give you that. Oh, now you're dead. Oh my god. Bro. Man. Yeah, bipedal. Ninety-nine percent. I don't. Know, I don't want to squish it. Gross. Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, optimize, right? Well. I mean, luckily, they probably had no reason to come out of here. So hopefully they didn't come out of here while I was chilling here. I could be like Coder and like light the whole thing on fire, but too much IPA for that right now. But actually, just, just to make it a little bit better, let's just burn them all. <laughs> <laughs> all right well that slows down my progress quite a bit this would have been relatively relatively a quick process if i didn't have to wait for these dudes to come pouring out There's only one other place that they can hide and I already blasted the living crap out of that power supply so there's really only one more place they can hide and that's actually where they were hiding was inside the power supply so I think the customer tried to get it cleaned before he brought it in but kind of failed Oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. There's a bunch of them inside this power supply. I think they're all dead now, but in order to do it right, you gotta pop this thing open, clean them out. There's a bunch of them in here, but they're all dead, I think. At least I hope so. Gross.
Jesus. Oh, I guess not. Fucking surprising, dude. You guys are freaking troopers, dog. Damn, don't zap anything. Don't go near the big one. Don't go near the big one. Dang it. I really didn't want to have to deal with this tonight. There's a bunch of them underneath here, too. Hopefully none of these are alive. Yeah. No more fat bodies, but I mean, once you get a cockroach infested system, you're never going to get that smell out, ever. So, gross. But, good thing I checked in there.
Yeah, I've never ever seen one in the DVD drive. I guess it's possible, but I've never seen one in there. Well, already this is going to cost them 50 bucks more, because I charged 50 for bugs, live bugs. As shoot, most people won't even deal with it. They'll just package it back up in a bag and say, come get your shit. So. Yeah, I only charge 50. Yeah, well, any more, and it's not even going to be worth repairing it. Oh, and the power supply is bent. I didn't do that. I don't know how that got like that, but I sure as hell didn't do it. Just powerhouse that power connector, bent it down. They're like, you can't use your PS4. This is now our hotel. Can't even turn it on now, bro. Popeye the Roach comes out. Just Yeah, I would have to say that the thermal paste was not the cause of it overheating. I would have to say that massive clump of dead roaches in the heat sink were probably working. Yeah, for sure, Captain. Uh, I used to, I think it was a one millimeter. Oh, these ones here? I think they're one millimeter. The one on the other side is a MOSFET. Yet, does this go? Oh no, this is not. Is this? I'm trying to think. Yeah, it goes there. Okay.
Where's my... Did I drop it? I feel bad that for people who buy these secondhand and the user that sells it to them comes from a roach infested house and you don't know it. I mean, although you can smell it, but still, if you don't for some reason and then you play it and go to sleep that night, then your house is definitely going to be infested. Oh god, it smells like roaches, dude. I don't know how to explain it. They just, they smell awful. It's like bug B.O. It's freaking nasty. Just because they defecate everywhere and their feces just reek. Oh no, Jason. Yeah, no, there's, uh, I think other problems with this console. Yeah, I know there's other problems with this console. Um, cause we get one beep and then no power.
one beep, no power. So this thing's got either a dead power supply or a problem on the main board. I got one beep out of it. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, it turns on for a split second and turns off. And now nothing. So. Yeah. It's probably the power supply, to be fair. This. What the hell? What the fart? It's not from there. The hell is that? I guess that might be the disk drive. Hmm. No, they're not roaches. It sounds like broken plastic of some kind. Oh, what? The actual... Oh, this is a Gen 2 power supply. I was like, how in the hell was I plugging this in and getting a beep? All right, so that's a Gen 1. This is a Gen 2. That kind of tripped me out for a second there. Uh... Is it going to turn on? I don't even know if this power supply... Oh. Yep, so it's the power supply. Gen 2 power supply works. So so he needs... An, that's going to be expensive. New power supply, refurbish, and bug fee. That's going to be expensive. These power supplies are like 70 bucks. And right now we're getting blue light, so hopefully it boots. I'm going to change my gloves. Blue light of death as well. On top of all this, is he going to get blue light of death? That's what it's looking like. It might have. It might be going into safe mode. Did you see the, the PlayStation logo? Uh, there was a logo? Okay, then it should be fine. Could be the hard drive that's dead. Could be the hard drive. Yeah, right now it's blue light of death.
Still blue. Could be hard drive. Oh wait, the fan stopped? That's weird. The light's still blinking blue. Oh, it turned itself off. Turned itself off. Huh, I don't know if I've ever seen it operate like that. Um, That could be like NAND or BIOS corruption or something if it does that. Oh, I turned it on again. Okay, so no hard drive. So, wow, he needs refurb, hard drive, power supply. That's literally not worth it. Literally not worth it. Because I have two terabyte hard drives and those are like 80. I charge $80 for them because I get them for like 60. So, 80 bucks for that. $70 for the power supply and like $100 for my labor. So that's literally not worth it. Actually, probably even more because I charged the bug fee. So it's, it's literally not even worth it. It's literally not worth it. But I don't want it. What do I, I'm not even gonna clean it out to sell it. Like there's no freaking way. I don't want this thing. So I'm gonna have to do something. I have to charge something to get to get them to take it back because I don't want it. But it's just gonna be crap. Right, Jason? Right? Well, it's at least coming to the correct screen now. Let's, uh... Maybe they don't need in a hard drive. Maybe the hard drive's good. Yeah, it looks like it might actually be an okay hard drive. Holy shnikey, it's already 10.30. Damn, that sucks. <sighs> Wanted to get more done. God dang it. Six thirty AM, huh? Yeah, right, <laughs> Yaki. Could 
Who was it that said, was that you, Bipedal? Who was it that said you saw that cockroach run across the desk? And then, like, right after that, I actually had cockroaches coming out of it. <laughs> I hope one didn't actually run across the desk, and that, that was just a joke, because I didn't see one, and I didn't catch it if it did. I didn't see one. Oh, okay, you were joking, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I was at the trash can dusting it out. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and take this trash out. I don't even want it in my shop. And then that PS4 Pro is gonna go into a bag when I'm done with it. Cause I wish that I would've, I saw the cockroach crap on the, on the, um, motherboard when he brought it in and I told him and he said yeah we used to have a problem and we got rid of that I should not have taken his word for it I should not have taken his word for it because I should have at least said because I didn't say but we do charge a bug fee and uh, unfortunately they are going to pay that bug fee Yeah, usually they don't take on that much IPA. They usually die. <laughs> the roach is playing with my Vectrix. Uh, we had outdoor cockroaches in in, Cal or in um, Carmichael for a while here, and they were around the shop for a while. They were big suckers. They were like this big. Those fuckers are scary, dude. They're freaking huge. I like. I'd be here working late, and I'd see something move out of the corner of my eye, and I'd look over on the concrete here because I have concrete floors. And I'd see just a big old fucker walking around. I'm like, ah, and I'd have to, I'd go over there and smash him because, but they're outside ones. I never seen an infestation in here, but they, the same times they crawl in from the outside, they'll crawl in, um, and they'll like snuggle up in something. So occasionally there'll be one, I'll find one in the store, like, but, uh, I've never seen an infestation and I, I've stayed here late and I never see them like coming out of the walls or anything like that. Like, I'll, like I said, I'll occasionally I'll see one here or there but it's not from inside the shop they come from the outside yeah ugh, freaking hate them uh, one i was working at starbucks one year and they had an infestation at the starbucks and these bitches were like this big they were fucking huge they were like ungodly they were so big and they were big and black i'd never seen that species before they were humongous they looked like little crabs dude they were so big i was like those things were legitimately scary. Like, I didn't want to get anywhere near them because they were freaking huge, dude. And I would go in at, like, 4.30 in the morning, and they were, like, on the walls outside of this Starbucks. And then the bats were flying around, too. And it was just, like, a creepy scene because I could, like, hear the bats flying around. And then these big-ass cockroaches were chilling on the walls. And I'm just like, oh, my God. They were humongous. Biggest cockroaches I'd ever seen in my life. They were legitimately like, like they were like this big of my hand. They were humongous, big old fat suckers. And they were like that tall too. They were huge. Ugh. What do you know? Okay, so that's probably the dude. I don't know who that is, but it's probably the dude that owned it previously. All right, so he said his code was... <laughs> yeah, Alex. All right, does it read a disc? What is this? Ghost Recon. Oh, thank God it reads the disc. I'm done. I'm done. Please read. 
Yes, okay. Turn this guy off. Yeah, I was gonna say that was, he said he bought that second hand, so maybe that's like the first dude's account and uh, the Sun King is his account. Because that's he gave me his password for his account, so I'm thinking that maybe the other one was like the other dude's account. Maybe that's where it came from to get the uh, to get the roaches. Maybe it came from that dude's place. All right, so almost done. Time for some. <laughs> Jason, time for your physical. Bend over. No, I don't even know if we have it. So with Mercari Leo, you like pretty much always have to check. <laughs> Prison roaches. You always have to check with me if the item's actually in stock. Because the thing is, is if we sell it in the store, we never, like, we can't keep up with it. So some things sell in the store, and then we forget to take it off Mercari. So I don't know if we have that game anymore. But yeah, so he's looking at. So. Just for power supply and refurbish, I charge like 170 because the hard the the power supply itself is like seventy dollars, and I usually charge a hundred for refurb. So he's looking at fifty dollars on top of that. So he's looking at like two twenty to get this thing back in his hands because it's the hundred dollars labor for the refurb and reassembly, and then fifty dollars for the bug fee. So. All right. Well, he's got new thermal compound. All the cockroaches are out of his heat sink. All the cockroaches are dead, so there's no more live ones in here. Um, as long as he doesn't put it back in a cockroach-infested house, then they should stay away. But at the same time, it stinks really bad, so they get, you know, they can smell it a mile away. This is like one of their permanent domiciles. So, like. Spider-Man PS4 waypoint for cockroaches. Honestly, I doubt it that there's any live ones, but they do get everywhere. But other than the disk drive, which I've never seen one in before, I've doused it with alcohol. So they're dead enough. But I will tell them they were alive in there. That's like I said. That's what, if they're. I've seen co co um, consoles that have like the remnants of of cockroaches, and the carcasses are like really wispy, like they've been dead for a really long time. And um, those ones are from tr houses that have been treated, like you know they like get tented or whatever, and all the cockroaches do die. Um, and that, I don't really care about that. It's not really nasty. Like, they blow away like dust in the wind. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to seal it. Absolutely, yeah. The sad part is, is... I wonder if this came in on Friday. No, this came in today. So, no, it wasn't sitting out overnight. This came in today, I believe. Might have been Friday. I hope it wasn't. So, yeah, I mean... He's got like maybe one or two screws missing, like, but they're not necessary screws. So. That was pretty gross though. And then this needs to go in a bag too. I can fix this at some point. 
have to really, really wash it though. Oh, damn it. Doesn't even fit in here. These screws, I don't think I have for the hard drive thingy, or for this thingy. I don't think I have these. <laughs> Alex, it's nasty. Kind of weird though, it has the smaller power supply and they're supposed to have the big one in there so it has like a little gap there but, and I didn't see his plate for the hard drive cover either, so. PS4, I believe, Pro is supposed to have a black screw for the hard drive, but... One more final test here. Oh, nice, whacked. All right, and now these ones 
I'm not going to be able to see. These are 43 kilo ohms. These are 100. This is my bag.
Nah, I've had roaches in here before. They weren't living on the mat, so they won't have lingering roach smell. I've had roaches on in here before. As long as you clean it up good and they haven't been living on the stuff, it's all good. <laughs> Cap. Not yet, Leo, no. I got a switch, no charge. Try to knock out at least one more repair. Hmm. Charging port's damaged for sure. So I'm not even gonna bother plugging it in. Charging port. At least. Hey, Mohan. <laughs> Whacked, man. Yeah, I'd probably... Yeah, I don't think I could handle... Like, I mean, spiders don't act the same as... Uh, uh, roaches, so... I mean, a spider might come and bite you. Although I've heard that... Yeah, no, the mat's fine. I'm honestly not that worried about it. I dealt with, like, cockroach-infested, dust-filled consoles, like, for, for a long time. It doesn't bother me, really. I don't like cockroaches, but the germs or whatever, I don't know, it doesn't really bother, bother me. Yeah. Oh, is the music sped up? Hold on, I think it might be. Yeah, it is. Kind of sounds normal, though. Um, yeah, the port, though. Oops, I did it again. The port is defo damaged. You can see the broken pins there on the bottom. I mean, honestly, if I had my way, I'd listen to reggae, but YouTube literally will block me and ban me. Like, I already got blocked for, like, a week or two for playing that. You never know, though, Captain, because sometimes the charging port can blow out the CPU, and in that case, it's not repairable. Sometimes it can blow out M9, possibly even BQ or P13. So, as long as those are blown and not the CPU. I check the CPU cap right away when I open it. It's like the first thing I check, because if that's shorted, I haven't had any luck fixing it. Personally, at least. Block? In the morning, USA. Why block you? What do you mean? What do you mean, Mohunt? Oh, 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 you mean YouTube. Yeah, no, if, if I play, like, copyrighted music, then they block me, or they give me a copyright strike, which gives me, like, a ban. I didn't know, though, but the copyright strikes, it was over six months ago. I think it's six months the strike remains on your channel. But as long as you don't get more than two in the period that they want, then they drop off, and you can get, you can get them again if you wanted. If you wanted to get more strikes, you could. So, oops, music. 
So this is the CPU cap right there, the big fat one under M9. So you just check to make sure that's not short to ground. not you get a diode reading of like 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.38939 39, and that's fine so what about the rest of the caps around m9 see if any of these are shorted nope so yeah actually it's looking like she might just need a charging port so that's cool Oops, all right, let's change it to the next one here, boink. Hey Shiro, um, honestly I have no idea. I don't change the fans by Syscon, I just use Webman. I know that there's ways to do it. I haven't messed with it though, so I don't know why it would do that. What happens when the console gets up to temp? It just doesn't go past 20? I don't know. That's weird, never heard of that before. Clean you up. Yeah, yeah, I would fix that cable. Um, it's in the wall for another piece of tree or anything like that. Huh, well that's interesting. That's a trippy way of doing it. Why don't you just let the Syscon take care of it? Oh, is it just too loud? Yeah, I'm not sure. There's probably, I don't know, I've never done the Syscon fan mods, but depending on what type of PS3 you have, I don't, oh, you said it was an AO one. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know, uh, like I said, I've never done that. Felix would be the one to talk. You could check our Discord or Felix. Um, yeah, Felix would be the one to ask about that, but I'm sure he has posts up on PSX Place about that. Yeah, he said he's trying to jailbreak it, or he's gonna.
Yeah, it looks good. Alright, let's see a few charges and displays. Should be fine. I'm not getting the battery display. Hmm. Now you know what? Uh, I don't think this is in all the way. Oh, that's what it was. Maybe. Kind of, sort of looked like it was not in all the way. Eek. That's not good. Oof. That's not good. Good. Oh, you know what? I didn't have. That's fine. The, I'm gonna see if it turns on though, because it could have like. BQ. I didn't have the power button plugged in for this last test that I just did. Battery, good, good battery, and power on. Does the switch power on? Does not. That's not good. Eek. 
it's not uh, it's not hacked. Um, I've never seen one in RCM. And it's also not doing what it should with the charging. What did I have recently? I had one with the gas gauge that was bad, but it was still displaying. So it's taking 15 volts. It's just 0 0.08 amps or 0 0.12 amps, which actually, hmm. Yeah, that's not good. I guess it still could be M9. I know, whacked, right? I guess it could be M9, but it's taking 15 volts and then it's stuck at 0 0.08 or 0.12, which was exactly the gas gauge last time. But the last one would turn on with a good working battery. It would just die really quickly. And I'm getting no display. I'm getting no battery icon. I don't even think the CPU is getting warm. Oh, that's not good. That's P13. This cap is short. I didn't see that before. That cap goes to P13. So there's either a hole in P13 and I didn't look at it, or P13 is dead, or M9 is bad. But definitely didn't I didn't catch that short before. It doesn't mean it wasn't there. I thought I did, yeah. But sometimes things can be like almost bad. All right, is the cap on P13 bad as well? No hole in it like there usually is. There's usually a hole in that when it's bad. But I bet you this cap is short. It is, so that's bad. Because sometimes if that short does not clear by removing P13, uh, CPU's damaged on that too. Usually when P13's damaged, it just doesn't dock. So that's a little scary. Find out when we remove P13 right now. If we remove P13 and that short remains, then it could be CPU. Probably just old flux, yeah.
Ah. Those are uh, wire wire strippers. They were just, they were just what was nearby. Okay, well that's good. The short is gone. That's good. Then it's probably going to be fine. And that's why it wasn't working on her dock previously, too. She said that it wasn't working on her dock previously. Pads are good, yeah, nothing got blown out. Do the pads look fine? Yeah, it was good. Diode should be same, kind of like 0.3-ish. 0.391, yeah, we're good. We good, so it should be okay now. I thought it was just going to be the port replacement, but I was wrong.
No. Don't. There we go. Wow, really? Oh, there it goes. Okay. All right. I was like, like for real? Hey, Perry. All right. That's good. I was like, are you flipping kidding me? All right. Let's see if it docks. How are you doing, Perry? Help if I plug the power button in. No, you didn't. Just do Nintendo logo black screen. Okay. Battery got disconnected. Yeah, I've been super busy the last week and today like just absolutely ridiculously busy i literally was absolutely not able to come back here on my bench at all today i was so busy with just walking and game customers and drop-offs that i wasn't even able to do any repairs today it was terrible Back in action. Um, the only other thing I didn't check was that it charges both directions. So let's check that real quick. Direction one. Yes, this is where I want to be, Perry. And direction two. Cool. All right, let's put her back together.
plug the fan in because you can't really reach that underneath there I do not pretend those no Oh, nice, Perry. Yeah, you should be able to do that. Nice. 5200 doesn't have very many games. 7800 is the way to go, if you ask me. Hey, you know what I just picked up today? Boxed Atari 600XL computer. Kind of paid a lot for it, for the fact that we don't really have customers that come in for Atari computers, but right now I have an Atari 800 in the box and a 600XL. The 600XL is really nice looking. It's like in really nice shape. Practically looks brand new. I don't know what you can do with an Atari 600, um, 600 but uh, just like the ports and stuff, yeah. Uh, HDMI ports, P um, and but chips I usually don't. Yeah, I don't know what I would do with the Atari. I don't know what I'm going to do with the 600. I mean, it's just on my shelf right now up in the front of the store. It looks cool up top on top like near the rafters but I don't get very many like old school computer purchases I mean I kinda, like I said I kind of paid I are for, I, for the box I box in Atari I offered him $75 and he was like can you do 90 and I was like no I don't really want to pay more than 75 because like you know and he's like well I've seen them go like you know he said like three four hundred on eBay but I was like no I was like they go for like two hundred dollars on eBay in the box and he was like, oh yeah, I didn't check sold listings. And I was like, yeah, they're about 200, 250 bucks. So I was like, if I'm lucky, I can get that. But that's eBay. And I was like, I don't sell most of my stuff on eBay. I use, I just sell in the store usually. So I was like, realistically, I'm probably not going to sell it. Because nobody's nobody really wants one, at least locally. Uh, it's not really much you can do with it. Um, does this, The 600 has like cartridges, right? You can get like games, but they're only for the 600, right? Like, they're not the 400 games or the whatever, but it does have games, though, right? Just not that many, right? They're like cartridges. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't think it's a very popular Atari for people that want to play games. I should look up to see how many games are for the 600, but I don't think there's that many. And you can't play 400 games on it, right? They're different. Oh, nice. This the pro system, the 700. That one I like a lot because the 7800 games are awesome and the 2600 games are awesome. You can play both. So I have a, I think I have a couple juniors that are AV modded or no, I have one junior that's AV modded that I did a long time ago. And I put that up and it wasn't even that much. Like I have it in my shop and it's like, I don't even know how much it is. Honestly, like 179 or something like that for the junior, and nobody's ever asked about it. Like it's sitting, it's been sitting up there in my front case for like the longest time, probably over a year, and nobody has ever been like, "Oh, sweet, an Atari Junior, 2600 Junior, I want that." AV modded, perfect. Like Atari's just not popular. <laughs> Tape deck, but you know, I, I have an Apple II that also uses the cassette deck. And there's a website that you can go to and you can just plug the headphone, the auxiliary cord into your speaker, like your, your cell phone, if your cell phone has that or your speaker out on your computer and plug that into where the cassette goes for the Apple and you just play the music on digitally and it'll load up the game, which is freaking awesome. You could probably do the same for the Atari, I would assume, since it's really just looking for an audio input, like a sound, but I don't know what the input for the Atari is. It's probably like some special plug. Maybe it's AV or audio in, I don't know. DZX Duino. CPC, yeah. Oh, that's sick.
Yeah, I have too much shit. And I don't even have time to play with it. I think the last retro computer that's not like a, you know, like really retro that I messed with was on the channel here. I messed with my Color Classic and I uh, recapped the analog board and the logic board, put in a spicy o'clock accelerator and uh, a blue SCSI. I haven't really used it very much. It's not honestly much I'd like to do on it. It's just kind of cool to have it. It's a color classic Mystic. Things are expensive now, damn. It's like a G. <laughs> What's that stand for? Tape ZX? Does anybody have an MSX? I've never seen one of those in real life. Or like, I mean, isn't it? It's like Japanese, right? They didn't release in America the MSX computers. I don't really know much about them, but. I just know that my CoinOps 8 Xboxes have MSX games on them. Oh yeah, wait, Mac Wax. That's dope. And probably pretty sick games on that thing. I, and I really would like to spend some time one day, if I can find some free time for myself, to work on the two Amiga 2500s that I have, just to get them actually up and running with like a hard drive or blue SCSI or whatever it is that, that I can get them up and running with Workbench installed on them. So I can just flip the switch get into workbench and I have like a bunch of crap loaded onto it, games and whatnot. Cause I have two 2500s now that I like really want to get up and running. And I think they're like relatively working now. When I got them, they had the batteries exploded in them. And I, I did a bunch of work. I didn't write it down, but I did a bunch of work on both of them. I redid a bunch of traces and reworked the whole area. And, uh, I think I socketed the CPU and the ROM socket for one of them. Maybe both of them. I honestly don't remember. But uh, they both boot now. But I think one of them, the expansion cards, are not working. Ha! Huh. Yeah, and then like 10 hours of work transferring everything over. That's a lot of work. They both work. They're just a pain in the butt because, like, the board is, like, this big. It's, like, it, like, literally takes up my whole flipping desk. It's, like, blam, like, the whole desk. And then the power supply, it's on this bracket, this metal bracket that's, like, this long. And the power supply is, like, this big. And the cables are really short. And it's just, like, it's kind of a pain in the butt to work on. I mean, I guess there's probably, like, adapters and you could use other power supplies or whatnot. But it does a few different voltages. But I know that one of the my one or two at least one of the, the, the floppy drives work because I was loading up games on on it through the floppy. Um, but you know, there's so much to learn about those Amigas. Like I know that the 2500 has different chipsets that you can get. Like I don't know exactly, but I know that there's some Amiga people that watch that. There's like different Agnes's. And like, what are the other ones? Denise, Gary. I think there's different chips that you can get, like, that are better for, or maybe they're worse. I don't know, because I think it depends on what version of Workbench you're using. And it's like, it's a whole mess. Like, yeah, Fat Agnes. Yeah, you get the Fat Agnes, which is like the 8753. I don't know the numbers, but like I said, there's... And uh, they just take up so much room in my shop, too. Like, um, I actually got them from a really cool customer, uh, Phil, Sir Phil. And I worked on his Turbo Duo for, like, two weeks trying to chase down a bad trace to get the audio to work. Because the PCM, is it is it 80 PCM, right? 80 PCM audio, the speech audio, wasn't working. And I finally found one trace that goes to one of the op amps that was broken. And it took me forever 
and I finally figured it out. And uh, that was, you remember that, uh, Jason, the turbo dildo that I was working on? That thing was a pain in the butt, but I finally got it working, got all of his sound working, recapped it, repaired all the traces and everything. And then he was like, I got some Amiga stuff I'm going to give you. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then he comes in and gives me two Amiga 2500s. And I about shat my pants. I was like, what? And uh, they were battery damaged. But it was funny. It was that one of them wasn't that battery damaged. It didn't look like it. And that one took me longer to get working than this other one. I had the other one that he gave me. I opened up and it was just fucking destroyed looking on the inside. But that one works better. But I still, I mean, like I said, I, I really, really, really need to just, instead of, I really need to get them working fully. I got a bunch of cool stuff for them, too. But yeah, I, ha I have them down here. They're, they're right here, right in front of me. I'm like staring at them. Every time I look at them, I'm like, man, I wish those things I could just flip them on and play with them. Because I just want to put them back together because the case is massive. The thing is like freaking this big, dude. It's humongous and it's like that tall. But I just want to put it together, bring them home safe and sound so that they're just ready to rumble. I mean, I don't need two of them. So technically, I could get one of them working and possibly sell one off for the time that I spent, like, kind of refurbishing it or whatever. But uh, I have seen a fair child, Perry. Yeah, actually, one of my friends, Blake, who uh, moved him, him and his uh, partner, David, they had a fair child. He brought that in. It was like, isn't the one of the? It was the first, the first console with the eight-way directional joystick. Pretty cool. It's like an Atari, basically. But yeah, let me uh, let me grab this thing too. I'm gonna show you this thing.
my mic was off that whole time. My bad. It's in nice shape. I was just saying how, how clean it was. It's all. And I was like, I wish computers were like that now. Like, just so simple. Just has a couple ports. Just that. And you could just, like, put it under your arm and bring it to your buddy's house. Like, no big deal. Can't play Fortnite on this, guys. Sorry about that. 15 pin? Honestly, I have no idea how many pins that is. Box has a gnarly rip in it though, but it's all right. Oh, for controllers, the peripheral one. Honestly, I have no idea. Oh, and this too. Got to register it. Don't forget to register your computer. You'll forfeit any benefits you might have. You know, that's like the new thing now for games. Like I noticed in the last, like in, in, from what I've seen, at least the last like five or so years, people are selling like PlayStation one games on eBay and they're like with registration card. And they go for like a hundred dollars more just cause it has a stupid registration card in that manual. I'm like, that's ridiculous. But I mean, I get it. It's if, if you're going to say complete in box, it's got to have that reg card, bro. That's not complete if it doesn't have the reg card. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Well, the thing is, Captain, is like, oop. the thing is, is, and I, I gave him 90. He asked for 90 bucks. He, when he came in, I was like, dude, I can do like 75. And he was like, well, you know, I have credit card bills due. And like, and I was like, oh, he, I told him I'd do 80. He was like, all right, I'll take the 80. And he seemed like pretty bummed out. And then he was like, you know, let me take pictures of it. Cause I, I got it like years ago and I never actually posted it on like any of the forums and stuff. So yeah, Nate. So I was like ringing him out and everything. I didn't say anything to him, but I just rang it out and I was like, boop, 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 boop. And I did 90 bucks and I handed him and I was like, here's 90 bucks, man. Merry Christmas. It's like, thanks for bringing it in. But I mean, I'm being honest, like we don't sell computers and stuff. So if anything, if it doesn't sell, I'll just keep it in like my personal collection, which is also stupid because I have so much stuff. I don't need this. Like, it's cool. I don't really want it. Like, it's not like high on my list, but... But I mean, give it to you for Christmas. I mean, see, that's the thing that I do with it is I'm going to overprice it. Oh, no, I didn't, Perry. I, um, I'll, like, overprice it and stick it in the store, and it'll just be, like, a conversational piece. Like, you know, maybe I'll put it at, like, what he thinks, it, you know, he thought it was worth, like, three or 400 bucks. Maybe I'll just stick it up for that price. And then, you know, if it sells, then, you know, that's cool. And if not, then I'll just keep it on my shelf forever. Like, you know, because maybe I don't want to get rid of it. I'll just have it there. Maybe. We'll see. Like I said, I don't really care too much for it. Oh, that's right. She wanted me to check her dock. But now I didn't charge it up. But I wanted to check her dock anyways. And I should probably note, like, what I did. So I don't forget tomorrow. So port replaced, P13 replaced, that's all I did, I think. So, what, like 80 bucks, 80 bucks more.
Oh, Nate. Um, was that, that was a long ass time ago. Yeah, so 200 bucks. Yeah, two, that's what I was telling him that it was worth. That it was worth about 200 bucks. And, and I mean, normally for like video games and stuff, if they're like, you know, normal price stuff, like three, 400 bucks, I'm sorry, like 30, $40 games, we'll give like 30%. But if it's like a higher price game, like if it's worth like $200, $300, we'll get closer to that like 50% mark for, for games. Um, and especially if it's going to sell quick, like if it's like Ruler Rose or like Marvel vs. Capcom 2 or like something that like once people see it, they buy it. Then, you know, we'll get closer to that 50% mark. But for like an Atari 600, like I don't know any customers that are coming into my store being like, hey, man, do you have like an Atari 800 or like I'd buy one of those in a heartbeat. Like it just doesn't happen very often. Like the Atari 2600 stuff just sits there forever. I have like 20 Atari 2600s. Now the 7800s sell quick and I don't ever see them. Like one will come in and I'll have it for a little bit and it'll be gone. And they're not even worth very much. But, you know, um, Xboxes have been pretty popular. Matter of fact, I have a customer, a local customer that wants me to get rid one of my Coinop 8 uh, modded ones ready. Oh yeah, whacked. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't really care that I have a lot of stuff. Vitas are <laughs> I see, always fucking talking about the damn Vita. Um, not really, dude. I, I mean, they are, but I always get people that call me and they're like, "Do you have any Vitas?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I got. I have a box slim, and I think we have a. I want to say we have a. We have two box slims and two one thousands. We have four. We have four Vitas right now, and I've had people calling me before Christmas and after Christmas, and all of them are like, I'm going to come in soon and get that, and they haven't. So it's like, people like the Vita, but they are kind of expensive. I think our 1,000 models are like 150, and that might even be a pretty good deal. I think the Slims might be a little bit more, but... It's like midnight. Yeah, it's midnight. It's time to freaking go home, come back in here and do it all again. But you know what? I enjoy just being here and repairing. Like having to run the entire store is stressful without enough help. So tomorrow actually I'll have returning help from somebody who didn't think that I would let come back here to help, but he's a... Why you still have that? I thought that was like not to be talked about, but you still have that thing, Nate. Isn't can't you like not do anything on that thing? Uh, slim less until it's unless it's the game's lock and stop exclusive. The only colored one that released. I've seen other colors. Oh, I thought it was. You referenced the Vita dev kit? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not personally interested in, in any Vita stuff. I have a Vita 1000, but the dev kit, like I'm not interested in the dev kit. If I can buy it at a rate that I can resell it at, I'll buy it for the shop, but I don't really want one. <laughs> Shiro, that'd be dope. All of you guys come and help, but it's cool it's cool it's just i don't really mind it being busy and i like being up at the front of the store i love actually being with with customers and helping out and selling stuff up there what i don't love is people dropping off repair after repair after repair and all wanting them done yesterday and then you know i mean 
nobody's really like mad. I just, I like to get stuff done quick. So when you drop it off here, I want to get to work on it and get back to you as soon as possible. And when I don't, it stresses me out, you know? Oh yeah, no, I've never looked at the beta dev kits, but I would assume that they're, see, I unbuttoned my shirt, I see. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't looked up the prices on those beta dev kits, but actually this button, the buttons popped off in the wash, I think. There's a couple of them. This one popped off on the wash. This one popped off on the wash, so. But. EOS, ter Terms of Service, what? Hoss? Getting a real Hawkeye, what, what, what do you mean? Honestly, no, impatient customers are not really common. Yeah, PC repair game, I get, but. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I get you, Shiro. What do you call it? Um. No, you know, I mean, I pretty much nip that in the butt right away, like if people are impatient, because I'm sure as shit not sitting on my hands in here. Like, there's no reason for customers to call me over and over again asking if their stuff is done. Because at some point, like, I don't want to deal with a customer like that, not to be rude, but like if at some point, like if you've called multiple times and I've told you like, look, I'm working on your stuff. I will call you when I am done and they keep calling, then, and then you know, basically I'll just be like, you know what, look, I'm gonna put your stuff together the way that it is right now. I'm gonna put it aside. You paid me the diagnostic fee. You can come and get your stuff, please. Bring them to somebody else who can bother, you know, be bothered by your incessant bothering. Cause um, you know, I mean, there's literally no point for a customer to call me after they've dropped it off, unless I call them. I mean, of course, if it's been like a week or two, I get it. But like these, sometimes customers will call like the next day or the day after and be like, is it done? I'm like, did I, did I call you? Like, look, I mean, it's December 20th. So like it's five days from Christmas. There's hella shit on my bench right now. Like you're gonna have to be a little bit more patient than a day. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but no, I mean, I usually don't have too much of a problem with it, but I, I pretty much nip that in the butt right away. Like if people are gonna be impatient. I just literally tell them, I'm like, look, don't call me again. When I'm done with it, I'll give you a call. And if I don't get done with it in a couple days, I will make sure to call you and give you an update on what's going on. But generally, most of my repairs are done same day or next day. Like this switch was dropped off today. No, no, I'm sorry. Wait, it says the 19th, but today's Monday, isn't it? Oh, it's Tuesday. No, so this switch was dropped off yesterday and I finished it today. <laughs> I don't think I got to any stuff that was dropped off today. I had a, yeah, I have. Yeah, I have a bunch more to do actually. I have two more switches, two 3DSs, a 60, 360, a PS3, a PC, and two Game Boys. So yeah, actually I have quite a bit to do tomorrow. So, but like I said, I have um, a rock star old school employee, Matthew, coming to help out tomorrow. Um, and he's an absolute legend when it comes to retail. When he's, when he's straight and good, and on the ball, he kicks ass. So I'm hoping that he can kick ass tomorrow and help out through this holiday rush. And then um, we'll see. And I am I am hiring another employee. You don't even live in the state, Icy. What the hell? Yeah, whacked, yeah. Yeah. You need to finish your college then. I see if you're going to college, you got to finish that. I have, oh yeah, the intern, he's not going to be here this week. So next week though, I have a 15 year old intern. It's awesome. That's Kevin. I don't know if he's been on the stream, maybe once or twice, but he's a good kid for 15. He's kicking butt. You know, I would love to have an intern when I was 15. Hell yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't pay your bills though, I see, you know? 
But yeah, I mean, generally, like I said, I don't really have a problem with customers um, because people trust me and they know that I bust my ass to get their stuff done. You know, I mean, the most recent thing that I haven't gotten back to the customer in a little while, and I'll probably call them tomorrow to let them know what's going on with it, is the um, Vectrex because I was not expecting it to have any type of geometry problems. <laughs> Leo, I'm not sure if that'll work in the workplace, but it's very nice of you. Um, but yeah, I got these, which are the Wima filter caps or film caps or no, what I don't know what they're called. I think they're film caps. These are for the integrators for the uh, Vectrix. So I'm gonna be replacing these soon, maybe tomorrow, maybe after hours. We have the in the integrator caps for the Vectrix, which are not the problem and the LM379 amps, which again, I'm not 100% sure that either of these is the actual problem with that Vectrix. Uh, but from what I can tell, this chip on the board is not sending out the correct signal. So I hope it's this chip and not something else on the board causing that. So we'll find out when I replace the integrator caps and that, and that basically means that those Vectrixes are going to be fully restored. And then I'm going to do that on mine. I'll probably replace the integrators and all the other caps on on uh, mine as well because mine's working. And I ordered Vector Blade, which is a, a homebrew game for the Vectrex, which is from Packrat Games, is who makes it. And I think he only charged me $65 shipped for this Vectrex game. It's going to come in a clear case with LEDs, and it's Vector Blade, which I couldn't find a copy anywhere else. So he had to build one for me. Couldn't find a copy on eBay, and it comes with the box and the manual and everything for 65 bucks. That's a steal. Uh, I think the last time I did see one on eBay, they were asking like $300 for it. That'd be sick. Dude, like, uh, that'd be awesome to have like a really cool team of people teching, you know? Um, one of my big dreams that I have moving forward for Booter would be to get a bigger store, bigger crew, and bring in like tons of product like i'm talking about like spend like 10 20 g's on like hella product like shells clear shells for any system you can think of we dreamcast saturn n64 es2 like whatever we can find that's out there uh buttons controller shells all the controller mods for like the rise stuff the ps5 stuff like ps5 shell modifications like the LED lights you can plop into the PlayStation logo just all kinds of like customizable shit like skins for the consoles LED light mods anything that you can buy yourself and bring home and mod and also you can take off the shelf and make a bundle for a console that you want and then bring that up to the counter and be like here's my 360 and here's all the shit that I want inside of it like boom and then one of my boys can get to work making it like that would be sick I think that would be really cool. Or like, here's my Game Boy. Here's the IPS screen I want. Here's the shell that I want. Here are the buttons that I want. Here's everything I want. I, I'm picking it off the shelf right now. Boom, there you go, make it. And then, you know, we can bust them out. And I think that would be super sick. Or like, here's my Atari, I want the AV mod. Here's the Intellivision, I want this. But, um, you know, I mean, it's, I think it's super fun to physically browse through like stuff, not just online. Like it's nice online. It's great that you can get everything there, but I think it would be really sick to like have an aisle full of like little baggies of like buttons and shells and you know, anything you can think of. Um, but the thing is, is I would need a bigger store because I would need an entire section for the mods and everything. Yeah, they would Leo. Yeah. People do that, but nice Perry yeah I mean you would have to you would learn more anybody who would be working here would be doing a whole bunch of other stuff you know we'd be doing like the regular mods um, you know we could be building Xboxes and oh yeah I would need a few repair guys you know so it would be fun maybe one day we'll see if it ever gets to that point it's the thing about it is, is even though I want it, I've had some stuff like that in here before, um, like GameCube buttons and stuff like that. And although they sell here and there, it's it's not really that big of a 
sales thing. And I do have like one large container thing and it's got like buttons and shells and battery covers and stuff. And it's nice to have them, but it's not like something I'm making like lots of money each week on. Because most of the people you can get it cheaper online and they're only buying for one console. So if they can buy the parts online for $15 and get them shipped within a week or two, they're going to do that rather than spending $30, $45 for the parts in my store. That's the thing is, it's like, you know, I mean, I would have to charge more than I got the parts for. So. Mm, I'm not sure, I see. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's hard to have a hangout area because if you allow people to loiter, it's especially with all this product around, then the chances for theft and whatnot is a lot higher. So. Yeah, that's true, Perry. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard to find. And not only just the same vision, but actually be able to apply. You know what I mean? Like you see me, like I get, I'll get stuff done. If I need to get something done for the booter, I'll get it done. If I need to stay after till midnight and do repairs after hours, first of all, I love doing it. And second of all, I'll get it done. Like, you know. <laughs> Zero, yeah. Let's get Jason down here. Um, I've caught two people, yeah. I've caught two people, like, but that's the thing is, is you're not gonna catch them all, so. Um, but I think for the most part, we don't get that much theft, because I mean, we, like I said, you've seen the store up front. Oh, nice, Nate. Yeah, I mean, the store, let me see if it'll pop up. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. There's not really anywhere to hide, you know? Oh, can you still hear me? I don't know if my mic is working on this screen. Yeah, it is. But yeah, there's not really, like, where are you going to hide? You know, it's it's like just a little hallway. Like, there's nowhere to go. So, um, no. No, nah, I don't, no. I know, um, it was really sad, actually. There was this one kid, I think his name was Jonathan, and he used to come in for three or four years, and he had, like, a, he had he had a meth problem, you know, his, I think his, one, somebody in his family, and then he, you know, he had a meth problem, but he would come in, and I know his, his brother passed away not long before I saw him, and he would come in, and he would chat with me for a little while, and he was also, like, a very, like, eccentric or whatever i don't know but he um he was moving and it was like he had came he came in to tell me that he was moving and you know i was like wishing him well and everything and then like a couple days later he came in with a buddy of his and i'm assuming they were probably looking for a fix or something like that because he's he was talking to me while his buddy was in the back and then he went over with this buddy and i like literally just watched literally just watched them and I could tell the way that they were acting that they were trying to steal and I literally just watched them like put PS4 games down their pants and I was just like like it was really sad and that and then he, when he was moving so that was like the last day that I saw him and he was like moving to another state and I had like wished him well and stuff and I just like watched him walk out of my shop with like PS4 games down his pants and I was just like all right <laughs> okay see how it is um well, I think actually I wasn't a hundred percent sure that he was stealing, uh, but then after they had left, I looked at the cameras and I was like, "Yeah, they did steal." So yeah, I didn't know off the, I didn't know a hundred percent when he was leaving, but I had like a really strong suspicion that they they had stolen because they were acting really funky. So, but yeah, nor if I see somebody and I'm a hundred percent sure, then yeah, I approach them and I say, "Take the games out of your pocket and leave." <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that only happened one other time. For sure, Leo. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was really sad, actually, because, you know, I mean, a couple games being stolen for me is nothing. But to to like take somebody's like actual like care for you and do that to them, that is unbelievable. Like I was there's no hope for that. I was like, man, that's you're so far down that, you know, somebody that even treats you well and treats you kind, you, you can steal from. That's unbelievable. It was pretty sad. So, and you know, I'm sure he's not doing well if he has that mentality when he, he moves out of state, but you know, it is what it is. 
So yeah, the switch is good. I'm going home. It is 12.13. Yeah, I know, Shiro, yeah. That happens a lot, honestly, though. And everybody knows the saying. It does happen a lot, though. Uh, yeah, this thing's good. Did I plug the speakers in? I sure did. Okay, cool. Hey, Wire. What's up? I ate Burger King. That's real food, man. Bipedal, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. Perry, it's good to see you. Leo, one love. Um, there's a bunch of people in here right now. Whacked. Nate Skis. Captain Ron. Hell yeah. Uh, who else we got in here? Eggs. And who else we got in here? I think that's about it, yeah? Well, there's like 30 other people watching. Jakesters. Yeah. Optimize. Damn, bro. Freaking insomniac. <laughs> That's true, Shiro. Yeah, later, guys. All right. Oh, Chris. Later, Newton. Chris Newton. Yep. Yeah, I'll see you guys. So hopefully, I'll be able to stream tomorrow. Like I said, it's been really, really busy during the day. So if I don't stream during the day, then after hours. And um, yeah, thanks, Leo. I'm going to try to... Ugh, iPads. Later, Cameron. Uh, yeah, if, if I don't stream tomorrow during the day, then I'll be doing after hours because I want to get on to that. Um, I want to get on to that uh, Vectrex. <laughs> All right, guys, take it easy. Hope you have a good night. Uh -huh, it's way over. <laughs> Damn it. I don't have any more rags. So peace out, guys. Peace in. Peace out. Actually, no. <coughs> Jason Rag is over here. <laughs> it's hard to, it's really hard to get it to land on the camera. If it was a bigger rag, it'd be better. I see you guys still. Put my eyeball in there. Later, guys. See you uh, next time. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate your support. Peace. See you, Crispin. <laughs>